Oh, good morning, folks. Papa Jane again. I was fixing to make some biscuits. And uh, I thought, well, you know, I want not film it, you know? Who don't like biscuits, uh, especially homemade? I'm going to make some uh, cheesy buttermilk biscuits. Now, you can milk it, make it without cheese. You can make it without buttermilk. Just use regular milk. But this is way I make it and uh, I like the cheese in it sometimes takes a little bit longer to cook seems like but uh I got nothing but time right we're gonna start here how's everybody doing y'all doing okay all right who's gonna start with flour this is self-rising flour right here this happened to be Pillsbury, you can, whatever. It was on sale. I'm using one cup of flour. A lot of people sift it. I don't. Yeah. Use a half a stick of butter. And uh, I'll keep it. You can put it in there and cut it up however you want to do it. But I always keep mine like, or, you know, just cut little pieces out and then you got to cut them up a little a little smaller. But uh, what I'm doing there is I'm going to tell you a joke. Little Johnny was in school. Teacher was talking. Little Johnny, he wasn't, he wasn't trying to, you know, he wasn't trying to listen. And uh, she stopped. She says, Johnny. If there's three ducks sitting on a fence and you shoot one, how many's left? He thought it meant he's none of them. They're all got, they all flew off. She said, no, there's two left. He says, no, because once you shoot, they they all fly off. Well, she says, well, actually the answer is two, but I like the way you're thinking. I like where you're going with that. Well, Johnny says, well, if there's three women coming out of an ice cream party and they're, one of them's licking on her ice cream, one of them's sucking on her ice cream, and one of them's biting on her ice cream, which one's married? Teachers. Well, one sucking on the ice cream is married. Well, no. Actually, the one with the wedding ring on is the one that's married, but I like where you're going with that. <laughs> I try to keep it PG, you know, but I don't know. Sometimes I don't. Anyhow, I'm trying to cut this up. I'm trying to hurry. Those, uh, yesterday I made a video of when I bought that ball. Bought a soccer ball and gave it to my dogs outside, and they played with it. And after I turned the camera off, dogs run up there with it, and it was flat already. That didn't take long. They still play with it though. Oh yeah, got to put some salt in it. A little, just a little dash. You know, flavor it up just a little bit. And uh, just go in there and cut them little chunks up as much as you can. The chefs will tell you that they, it's got to be pea sized. Well, being from Texas, you know, Texas, everything's bigger, you know. So I'm going to have big peas, big pea sized butter. I'll pick one up in a minute after I get them all cut up here and show you. And that cool front come through yesterday and it about 50 degrees out there this morning. Sure felt good. Yeah. This is what takes the most of the time. Yeah. 
It don't matter. I mean, I've used big chunks. It really don't matter. As long as you get it halfway cut up. I think today I'm going to make some Papa's homemade wine. I'm sure probably most of y'all know who Papa is. Doing it cheap. I'm gonna make some out. I wasn't gonna film it. I'm not gonna film it because hell, he might have it copyrighted. You know, I don't know. I'm get in touch with him. See if it's okay. I'll make a video on uh, tasting it once it's ready. All right. Well, we'll do that. I just put a little bit of cheese in there. You don't have to put a whole lot. Like I say, you don't need to put cheese in there if you don't want to. I'll stir it around in there. And then up. It's the other way. Buttermilk. Like I say, if you don't like buttermilk, I mean, you know, use regular milk. It don't matter. You don't want it too wet. You don't want it too dry. Just make a ball. If you get it too wet, it's actually better than having it too dry because of the fact when you when you get through, I'll show you in a minute. We'll uh, put some flour down on the cabinet, so you can still mix some flour in with it. So. And there is really no measurement because of the fact different places have different humidity and all that, you know. There's a science to it for some reason. I don't know all that. I just make biscuits. They usually turn out pretty good. Yeah, it's looking pretty good. It's getting a little stiff. Excuse me. Um, then, uh, let's see, we got the, the crab, we got everything. We'll put some flour on here. Just to keep it from sticking on everything. But my wife's not looking at this, watching this video. making a mess. You can't use flour without making a mess, you know. See how lump it is right here? That's what you want. Actually, this is pretty good. This looks good. Put a little flour on top of it, just to keep it sticking to your hands when, you, when you're messing with it. You want to flatten it out. Most of the time I'll let it rest. I'll let it sit there for, you know, an hour or so. But we're not going to do that today. It doesn't matter. Just kind of fold it in, kind of work it in all together. Just to where you can work with it. Got a rolling pin around here somewhere, probably in that door out there or back there. But uh, you don't need no rolling pin. Just kind of push it out to the edges. Get it all about, oh, uh, let's say three quarters of an inch thick, or you want them thicker, that's fine too. If you want to make pancakes with it, you know, you can go down to, down to nothing. All right. This is my, this is my cutter. I just use glass. You know, get a little bit of flour on the edge, on the rim of it, so it don't stick. Oh yeah. Can you see? Yeah. Uh, I'm going to use some uh, cooking spray in this pan just to 
keep it from sticking on there. Alright. Do that. I'll put my knife underneath it because if you don't, it'll fall out. Just come over here and dump it in there. I'll give you all a closer up view here in a minute after I get them all in there. It's a little cold, man. It's been kicking my butt, man. I just. I feel alright. It's just, uh. I lose my voice, or, you know. Kind of lose my voice a little bit. My wife likes that. <laughs> she says I'm nicer when I can't talk. I don't know how true that is, you know. You know else, I think I'd be nicer if she wouldn't talk. <laughs> <laughs> it don't matter how you put that on there. Look here. When you have some of this little scrap stuff like this, you know, you can play with it. Pick it up. Make it shape it however you want to. If you got a heart cookie cutter or whatever, you know, use that. You know, that's that's nice. But I just it don't matter. You just stick it in there. I just make I just use this just to make it look like it's a biscuit. Three fifty to three hundred and fifty degrees. With this cheese in it it takes a little bit longer. But uh, just cook it until it's brown on top, and you know, when it, not when it's mushy, but you just feel the top of it. You know, it feels crusty and kind of firm. Then uh, it's ready. I'm fixing to put it in. Look here. This is what it looks like right here. See? Now you know if you want to use more, you just double the recipe. Put it in the oven, 350 degrees. About, I don't know, till it's done. Let's see if it's done. I'd say it's done. Even the pan shrunk. <laughs> see what I mean? Look at there. Good. I don't care where you're from. That's how you make southern biscuits. Cheesy buttermilk biscuits. But, I'll say this for breakfast. I love buttermilk. Well, that's how you do it. 350 degrees. Like I said, without the cheese, it takes about 12 minutes. With the cheese in it, it's going to take about 25. But keep an eye on it, you know. Humidity has something to do with it. I don't know what. I guess the moisture in the air or whatever. Uh, makes it take, makes, you know, it takes a little bit longer. But, uh, that's how you do it, man. Just, uh, I use a cup of flour, a little bit of salt, cheese is optional, pour buttermilk in there until it gets to be a lump. Take it out, put some butter, you know, uh, flour underneath it, so we lay it on, put some flour on top of it so you can work with it. Toss it and turn it a little bit. Mash it down, cut it up, put it in the oven. Pretty simple, huh? This will be you know, some of the best food is really simple. Yeah, yeah. Sorry, my shirt stained a little bit. But, uh, uh, some of the best food is real simple. You know what I mean? It's, I watch these cooking shows. Boy, they get, you know, measuring cups. And, you know, they, 
you know, a little bit of this and just, you know, a pinch or two of that. Store ever how much you like in there, you know, and use whatever you like. You know, that's real rule of thumb. If you're going to eat it, eat something that's got stuff in there that you like, you know. So, uh, if you like parsley, throw it in there, you know. If you like these biscuits, you can put anything in If you want to put some, fry some bacon up and crumble up some bacon in that biscuits, you know, and then, you know, cook it like that, that's fine too. Um, you don't have to use butter. You can use lard. It's a little stout, but, uh, you know, you can use oil, you know, you can use anything you want, you know. But butter is, is the golden rule there. But look, uh, I guess I'll catch y'all on the next one. That's how easy it is to make biscuits. Hope you'll try it and hope you enjoy it. Well, y'all have a good one and I'll see you next time. All right, bye. I'm out of here.